Has this booming pandemic economy run out of steam? Despite widespread job growth, a housing market frenzy, and a monster gain on the S&P 500 last year, many economists and CEOs now warn a recession could be looming. As the Federal Reserve tries to tame high inflation by aggressively hiking interest rates, even the head of the Fed himself admits central bankers probably should have acted sooner. Hindsight says we should have moved earlier. We're going to use our tools and we're going to get this done. Now the challenge for the Fed is this, slowing the economy enough to get inflation under control, but not so much that it lurches into recession. It's the search for the so-called soft landing, but it won't be easy. The chances of pulling off are very, very low because they have to push up the unemployment rate. And in the past, when you've pushed up the unemployment rate, you've almost never been able to avoid a full-fledged recession. As recession fears grow, investors are dumping stocks and other risky assets. Everything from the tech sector to retail stocks to Bitcoin has plunged. Other factors like Russia's invasion of Ukraine and COVID-19 lockdowns in China, they aren't helping the outlook. So if the U.S. economy does slide into recession, what shape will it take? There's an alphabet soup of possibilities. The V-shaped curve is the best case scenario. It's a sharp drop followed by an equally sharp recovery. Often that results from a one-time shock to the economy, like we saw at the beginning of the pandemic. The U-shaped curve is a more drawn out recession that takes a few years for GDP to fully recover. Now that occurred in the mid 1970s during the oil crisis and a period of stagflation. Then there's the dreaded L-shaped or hockey stick recession. That's the worst case. That's when a prolonged recession turns into a full blown depression. The Great Depression is a classic example. But some economists argue the financial crisis, which started in 2007 and took nearly six years for a full recovery, also met that L-shaped definition. There's also the W, when the economy bounces back quickly, only to slide right back into recession. And finally, there's the K. Now, that's when different sectors of the economy rebound more quickly than others, creating two separate recovery lines. Some economists argue that's what really happened after the start of the pandemic, when low-income workers were the last to feel the economy come back. That's a lot of letters, but remember, a recession is just a possibility at this point. Still, it's what economists are treating very seriously. I was talking to a bunch of professional forecasters the other day, and one after another said they can't remember an environment where it was this uncertain. The lockdowns in China on top of an already fragile economy, war in Europe, galloping inflation in the United States. Uh, You have the makings of a perfect storm global recession. It's a risk. It's not a certainty, but it's a pretty scary risk. A risk that American families are increasingly beginning to fear.